Imagine a day at Frankfurt Bank. My name is Daniel Data, and I'm a data scientist at Frankfurt Bank. And I am Barbara Banking. I'm a financial service expert at Frankfurt Bank. I love computers, our servers, the data we have, but what I like most is training AI models. I have been working at Frankfurt Bank for 15 years, and my passion is to work with real people and advise our clients. I'm also very tech savvy. I was a key user when we introduced the new customer relationship management system five years ago. Well, Barbara, maybe it's time to get a fresh start with AI. Don't you want to show me your job tasks and your data? And I will show you the true value of AI. Maybe we can automate some of your tasks and also make you more efficient. Daniel, you must understand I'm very busy. I don't have time and I'm not a computer nerd. Can you imagine? This was a real challenge that we had to solve for one of our clients. How might we engage domain experts in contributing AI use cases and participating in AI developments? The value promise of AI is realized when AI's strengths meet user needs. In this session, we will introduce design thinking for artificial intelligence. It allows you to explore the potential of AI with the possibilities of design thinking. My name is Jennifer and I am a professor for digital innovation and agile methodologies. In my research, I investigate how we can best use design thinking to design software intensive systems in a real human centric manner. And I have been doing that for over a decade and I'm still passionate about this topic as ever. My name is Benjamin van Giffen. I'm a professor of information management at University of St. Gallen. I head the management of AI research lab. And I'm focusing on design thinking for artificial intelligence, democratization of artificial intelligence, and many other topics that help organizations to create value with artificial intelligence. Design thinking for AI is a focus area at the management of AI research lab at University of St. Gallen. It's quite an important pillar for us because AI creates exciting opportunities. At the same time, many firms struggle. In fact, less than 50% of AI prototypes and proof of concepts make it into production. That means that they can create business value. Why is that the case? Our research shows that the lack of user orientation and failure to consider human needs and human desirability is one of the most common AI project challenges in practice. In one of our study, we found out that a lack of AI knowledge in the business function is a key challenge. The same applies to a lack of trust in the AI solution within the business function. Sometimes AI projects don't address the user needs or they even don't solve the actual business problem. Some problems and teams struggle with a lack of communication across departments and stakeholder groups. Sometimes high quality data is missing or not explained. Sometimes just the wrong solution is defined even before the problem has been really identified and understood. This is why we have developed the Design Thinking for AI Corporate Innovation Program. It is a corporate innovation program that leverages design thinking for generating AI innovations that solve real challenge of your company. Before we get into details, let's take one step back. AI is everywhere. We will find AI applications in our everyday life. We have autonomous or partly autonomous cars that drive us. We have speech to text applications. We classify our images on the web or on our phones. We seamlessly use translation services to bridge into different languages. Or we have a machine reading something interesting to us. In fact, there are three important drivers that drive AI innovation. First, we have a constantly growing stream of data, and that's continuing to grow. Second, we have increasing computational power with your credit card, you can easily book a, a cloud service 
our computing infrastructure at scale. You don't even have to operate anything by yourself. And this is growing as well. And lastly, there are new processes and methods of machine learning. This together creates the perfect storm and it enables new AI applications. In fact, what does it mean? AI is all about finding patterns in data to make predictions. At the same time, it's a quite controversially discussed technology and it creates many new wicked problems far beyond the technology in itself. Think about it. There are some social challenges, topics like fairness, potential changes in the workplace. Some people have fear of AI or see some risks. The topic of explainability, moral and ethics opens a whole new wealth of discussions in that space. At the same time, there are some new technical concepts and new technologies. Big data, cybersecurity, generative networks, training data, AI models, AI projects, scaling. There are a lot of new technical terms and concepts that need to be mastered. And from a managerial standpoint, of course, you look for the bottom line, you seek that your AI systems create value, that you manage your third-party suppliers well, that you tackle all the legal and liability and compliance questions that are relevant. And in general, that you develop a professional management approach to artificial intelligence. So AI generates a multitude of new social, technical and managerial challenges, making it quite complex. And this is where design thinking comes into play. Design thinking is a creative problem-solving approach that starts with the human. This means design thinking is a powerful way to creatively solve some of your AI-driven problems. To accomplish this, design thinking uses extensive user research and rapid prototyping techniques to learn fast and challenge assumptions. And when I say users, I mean the people you are designing for. That, for example, can be your customers for whom you are creating a new AI-driven product or service. But also that can be internally your employees or other departments when you aim to optimize processes or strategies. Using design thinking for AI combines user needs and AI strength to find a real problem for which AI can add unique value. Looking at the graphic on our slide, in employing design thinking, you're basically pulling together what's desirable from a human point of view with what is technologically feasible from an AI-driven standpoint. And in the end, we want to reach the intersection in the middle, the intersection between user needs and AI strength. And usually the first step is to identify the real problem that people need help with talking to people, looking through data, observing behaviors, can shift your thinking from a technology first to a people first approach. Let us show you how this can work. The design thinking process offers a framework for structured problem solving and idea generation. This process model is also called double diamond, because the faces of the model are divided into two diamonds where each face is characterized by either divergent or convergent thinking. The first diamond focuses on the problem exploration and the second one on solution exploration. To show you how design thinking can be used for the development of AI-driven solutions, we will now go through each step of the process model. Starting from the left, an AI-driven design challenge is starting point and provides direction for problem and solution exploration. And to make it a bit more tangible, here are two examples from previous projects that we worked on. One in the medical area and the other in logistics. And just to highlight them, the first one was how might we improve speed and quality of X-ray diagnostics drawing on the possibilities of AI? And the other in the logistics domain, how might we improve decision making in our logistical operations? Again, drawing on the possibilities of AI. 
Design challenges like these are the starting point for the further problem exploration and need finding activities. Need finding then explores the socio-technical context of the AI-driven design challenge. To dive deeper into the topic, need finding for AI basically uses ethnographic techniques to uncover repetitive tasks of users and also latent user needs. And looking again at our graphic that we showed you before, understanding needs helps to identify which problem should be solved from a user perspective. So here we ask ourselves, who are our users? What are their values? What are key tasks that they need to perform? Which of these tasks are important, meaningful, purposeful? Which of these tasks are repetitive? Which ones are boring, dull or inefficient and have potential to be improved? So the main question here is, which problem should we solve for them? On the other hand, understanding AI strength helps to identify which problem should be solved using AI. In this context, we usually try to explore and understand current IT systems that users work with, data that is generated, accumulated, used or processed in their work, and also calculations or predictions that users need to perform. And just on a very operational basis, a question guide for interviews can then cover three layers. Layer one, stories and emotions of users. Layer two, needs and values of our users. And then layer three, going more in the AI direction, tasks, data, and systems. And once we have collected all the data, we then go into the next phase of our design thinking double diamond, which is called synthesis. Synthesis transforms stories into insights and gives directions for innovation. And in our case, usually AI-based innovation. This means we try to de detect patterns in our field studies and identify valuable innovation potentials for AI-based innovation. The outcome of our synthesis activities are usually areas of opportunities that can be found in the intersection of user needs and AI strength. So here again, we're looking at the graphic of the beginning where we want to tackle the intersection where we assess automation versus augmentation. Using AI-based innovation means to automate tasks that are difficult, unpleasant, or where there's a need for scale. Augmenting tasks, on the other hand, are tasks that people enjoy doing and that carry social capital. And exactly this, interaction, this intersection is something that we want to address with design thinking for AI. These opportunity areas for AI-based innovation provide then the starting point for our solution exploration in our double diamond model. That means once you've identified the opportunity areas backed by deep custom insights, you move from problem space to solution space. And the first step you are taking is ideation. Here, you generate solutions based on your user needs and insights. In this process, we inspire innovation teams, for example, with the seven patterns of AI, to help them as a guidance and as an inspiration in their idea generation process. That means we ask our teams to think about hyper-personalization, autonomous systems, and all the multiple predictive and pattern recognition tasks that AI is really strong at. These patterns can be applied individually or as combinations, but it's important that the teams have the space to explore and tap into their creativity to find these valuable uh, opportunities and strengths to tackle the opportunity space. And then we provide tools to our teams like these idea napkins that help them to specify ideas in three simple steps, for example. At the same time, we want teams to think a little bit about the potential data and prediction tasks that come, can come out of that. 
idea. Following the ideation phase or initial ideation phase, teams can then start to build prototypes and to test them with real users. And prototyping gives you the chance to get in touch with reality. Meaning, we don't want to have uh, people falling in love with their ideas, but instead to have constant user uh, tests and have constant user feedbacks in refining and shaping, developing their, their, their ideas. That is also when we are building products in a human-centered way, the most important decisions that you are making and that prototypes are helping you is who are your users? What are their values? What's important and meaningful for them? And you can learn also and develop a path to how you will solve their problem. Prototypes can take all different forms. As you can see on the image here, we have a combination of a digital prototype indicated on the laptop, an avatar or a video. And at the same time, we have some physical game on the table where these elderly people are playing with. This is all occurring, of course, in a structured and very disciplined manner, enabling innovation teams to learn about user behavior, needs, what people find interesting or not so much. At the same time, prototypes can be very physical, like the little game book uh, here in the middle, or uh, a, a digital device, an electronic device, very simple, a website, or even a human-to-human -human interaction, where people simulate a dialogue with an intelligent counterpart. The better teams understand what users need and want and how these needs can be addressed, the easier it is to specify the actual application or AI application that the team is envisioning as a solution. To make it really tangible, realistic and specific, we then add the tool set that helps the team to be more concrete filling in a machine learning canvas, helping the team to be more specific about the prediction task, the data sources they seek to tap in, potential influencing factors and parameters that are relevant for data scientists who in the end will train and build models together with the innovation team, together with users. Only after iterating between all these different phases and doing significant user testing, learning a lot about user needs, and desires, we arrive at a final solution concept, which is much more than just the technical solution, but also the hows and whys deeply rooted in the understanding of user needs. Well, over the course of many projects that we've conducted using design thinking for AI, we have some key takeaways that we want to share with you. Design thinking for artificial intelligence helps to address some key challenges in AI projects. First of all, need finding ensures that the AI solution addresses the user needs. Second, need finding helps to tackle the problem without a predefined solution in mind. Need finding also helps to facilitate the selection of high quality data because you know what it's all about and what data sources to look at. And then, prototype testing increases the AI understanding of project team members. Prototyping helps to strengthen user trust into the AI solution because users can experience the solution, its look and feel, and what it's actually doing firsthand. They're quite involved into that process and can raise their hand early on. And finally, the design thinking mindset encourages a more effective communication across all AI stakeholders. You might wonder, how do we use design thinking for AI at University of St. Gallen? To show you some examples of entry points for design thinking challenges, we first look into where are the value potentials? Well, for example, developing new products and services that are enabled by AI. We had some challenges focusing on how might we use AI in the context of personal health to prevent hair loss management for young men. How might we innovate a new service or our new services 
in an AI-supported digital way right from the start? How can we create personalized experiences that help in the human AI collaboration in a manufacturing environment or to better advise our clients in financial management? Some organizations want to get a feeling how AI might disrupt or create entirely new business models in their industry. So we were charged with learning about how might we shape the banking of the future and what do we need to do today? How can we rethink our business model and how can we use AI to better position us for the future? Process automation or automating processes tackles challenges like how might we use AI to make our logistics processes more efficient in a way that employees are liking the automation process or the augmentation process? How might we identify sudden shocks in the customer relationship early on? This is just a small sample of challenges that we've tackled, but it gives you somewhat of a feeling of entry points and questions. And as you can see, these are deeply user and business driven. How do we get this done? Well, first and foremost, the key ingredient, the most important ingredient is to have an awesome team with diverse skills and personalities that work effectively together. And to do that, we empower teams right from the start with four principles. First principle is ownership. Every team owns and manages their real world project. Not somebody external, not somebody else, Every team owns their project. Teams have the budget that they can spend on research and prototyping and travel, whatever they need to get it done, to make the job a success. We provide a professional support system so that teams, that teams can rely on during their journey. Of course, every team journey has their ups and downs. And we are making sure that teams go through these steps in a in a good way and in a productive fashion. The entire program takes three months and is structured along the design thinking process in which we conduct a thorough need finding to assess user needs, to match them with AI strength and to design a new AI based solution. And to make it a bit more tangible and clear, here are some impressions from the last two years. First, we foster radical collaboration and multidisciplinary teamwork to gain a holistic view on our AI-driven design challenge. We strive for real empathy with our users by using need finding in early project stages, like here in a data-driven project for dental service organizations. We create rapid low fidelity prototypes to encourage thinking with hands, like here in the middle, um, with an avatar that helps sales personnel to train their negotiation skills. We test our prototypes constantly to gain user feedback, um, like here in a nursing home when we explored AI-based solutions for Alzheimer patients. And finally, we encourage a culture of experimentation and exploration with our motto, kill your darlings, meaning to not fall in love with our own ideas, but get rid of them if they don't test well with our target audience. To sum it up, we use design thinking as a guiding process of problem and solution exploration in order to create real value with AI-based innovation. And while doing that, we also do have fun and a lot of passion behind it. Using design thinking for AI can shift your perspective from a technology first to a people first approach. The real value of AI is realized when AI strengths meet user needs. If you want to learn more, get in touch with us.